How's it going, everybody? This is on a value stock. Great for the inflation play and the terrible times that we're in. So, today was one of the worst days, and Marathon Oil produced a 6% profit. It's been profitable all year long. Not one week has it missed. And today, with all the worst stocks going to crap and everybody losing money, it has been a winner. So if you're ble bleeding and losing tons of money on your stocks and looking for somewhere for shelter to make some profit with a good future and no losses, which is hard to find right now. I haven't think I found much for 6% profit on a day like this. That is a solid value play. And I mean solid as in it won't crash tomorrow or next week or next month and it has a track record of five year positive with no losses like no losses last week no losses three months no losses over the year now that narrows it down to about not very this is the only one i could find anybody can find you know there was a few daily winners for today but their charts were terrible. They're like uh, parabolic rising and all that kind of stuff. So tomorrow, the next day is going to be trash. So if you're looking for a safe place to put your money and get some return, I'll look into Marathon Oil. And I'm going to go over why as we get into it. Marathon Oil has been around since 1887. It's a $10 billion market cap company. It is uh, petroleum oil. It's an exploration and production. It has has retail gas and speedway gas it's two portions of the company petroleum and um, gas now they're spread out with uh, 16 refineries 13 states 3 million barrels and they're in Africa they are very large and what I'm bringing this up is on um, March 4th as in today um, Jerome Prowl talked about um, what everybody suspected that he might hop in and help out the stock market but he didn't so everything crashed today and that's what led up today and also what led up to this um, just a matter of days ago when the 10 year treasury hit the 1.5 percent and everybody really took a crash so all these stocks been bleeding lately in the last week and even even the week before that because Biden and his talks of inflation raising interest rates have been dropping stocks bad so everybody's needing to change from growth to value plays and this is one of them so you can save some money and make some money um, it has bullish with several analysts um, Wall Street seeking alpha and quant um, also the price of oil is going up because of all the EVs that are coming out they're restricting the amount of gas stations that can be put in and expansion on them unless they go to EV and that's a high cost deal so that's going to take a while so in the next one to four years is probably really strong for oil at least good solid one year and um, this met, um, marathon oil is in Texas and they just had the freeze last week so gas prices are going up across the country and hitting three dollars as well as especially specifically for Texas because of the freeze that put all the uh, pipes and blew all the all the energy out of the state is actually raised the price as well and on top of that OPEC is shortage cutting back supply on oil and raising the gas price as well as the Saudis doing it and normally Trump would be calling them up calling them up as he did in the last four years and jacking with them and making the price to go down but Biden as we know does not care about the consumer he is wanting inflation to go up supposedly to get the employment going but he is not caring about the prices of gasoline and overall prices of what's really happened in the economy as well as overspending like on certain children and things getting a tax credit of like three thousand dollars per child and the next stimulus check that probably doesn't really need to be done and Wall Street's kind of balking at it but since that is happening, Marathon Oil is still killing it. One day today, 6.28% on a terrible day. Last week, look at the chart. 11.8% with horrible things. I, I would like you to go back and look at all your charts and try and find me one 
that's comparable or better because I would love to know. I've been looking for some good stuff as well. A month out was 54% with all these things that's been going on. And three months out, it's at 94%. And as well as at one year, it is 50% which is also beautiful because we're talking like the COVID crisis and all this stuff. So a lot of stocks around the March time had the crash and their charts don't look anything like that. But if you're wanting to get a safe, solid play, like last March when it crashed, you had to switch all your stocks to like Moderna and all these other things, and then you can make a lot of money. But if you stay stagnant and you don't move your money, you're going to end up hurting a lot where you could come out smelling like a rose. And on the five-year chart, this thing's even 45%, which is killer. Relative strength on this chart is 94%. Zach's rating. Um, Zach's is kind of weird. They don't have the most up-to-date rating, so they're probably a month behind on it. But they're saying it's a hold, which I totally disagree with because many reasons. Marathon Oil, in comparison to certain peers, is a hold. But its peers are Barry, Conoco, Phillips, um, PHX, Cactus, and Hess Corporation. Um, well, yeah, they have a, they have retail suppliers and stuff. They they share gas stations with what they have for retail production and exploration. But I'm just giving you the pricing and the peer structure so you can compare what's really going on. Marathon Oil is a three as a hold, but if you look at the big picture and the top peers. EOG, Pioneer, and Occidental, which uh, Warren Buffett bought and is kind of upside down in. But these are the peers. And now if you look at the chart, look at the chart, what happened today. 6.28%, and they only have a market cap of $9 billion. When you're talking about EOG is at $28. Bucks. They have a, they're really comparable. They have a $10 billion market cap. But they are twice as much money, and the overall... Uh, for the year chart had a drop in one of their places so they're not even as stable but if you want to look at the other peers you look at uh, look at all these I went through all these charts and none of them look the same or as good as this over the course of the year each week three week uh, month and then the three month in the year so this is your solid well, in my opinion, and I'm not giving you financial advice, I'm saying in my opinion, and what I'm doing with my money, I'm looking at Marathon Oil because it's more solid on the value than all the rest of them. The volume was up today, and if you compare also, um, average volume, so it's basically double the volume today, whereas, well, Continental was almost double as well. C is EOG is almost double, but you're talking the cheapest, best value for the price. You can't beat that. I mean, overall, that looks beautiful. And when you compare it to like uh, the larger company companies, like 158 bucks, 70 dollars, everywhere the price target, and this thing's only 12 bucks. And last time, the gallon of gas was 64 bucks. The price for Marathon Oil was uh, 14 something. 14 something a share now if you compare it to other value plays what happened today you got Kroger Alphabet GE everything look at those uh, two percent one percent nine percent seven percent and then everybody hit the dirt crash crash this is a stock market today what happened today uh, you got Europe China all that Asia America trash 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 everything crashed okay so you have a solid play um, Basically, other reasons why uh, Marathon's good, they got strong oil inventory, developmental projects, uh, they have several Permian basins uh, from Oklahoma to uh, different parts of the United States, all the way from Midwest to the East. Uh, they're focused on high-grade portfolio, and also what is really good about them, even though they know when they did their uh, last earnings report that the gas supply was not in demand at the time they said what they're going to focus on is the management and capital utiliza utilization and margins at smaller amounts and getting higher returns per profit per share which is really diligent and very strong for a company to do also another analyst 
uh, wrote this article, which is really good. He's saying that um, almost similar, same thing to what I just said. I'm going to shrink this up and we can read it. He's also mentioning that um, oil is also looking to break out of like this trend that has been going down in the last, well, it hasn't really... They're saying that oil hasn't really took off in the, like the last seven years, but it's about to be on the rise. Is what's looking is breaking out of its pattern. Um, he's also stating that the the performance evaluation on this company is really solid. He likes it for exploration and production. He's a player in the company. Healthy balance sheet, um, prices, year date, blah, 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 oil prices, and their break even margin is like the lowest in the industry. So they are really managing corporation and diligent to their shareholder it's a very strong play I think that it is a winner if you're interested in getting a look at Marathon Oil I would say check it out and if you want to save some bleeding and not lose your ass in this terrible environment when it is a I don't know you call it a readjustment or looks to be like a similar crash tomorrow the jobs reports coming out so Hopefully that's good. Maybe that'll bring some other things back up. But this is a solid winner. And if you look at the chart, I haven't seen a chart that can beat it. It is really pretty impressive. And you're talking about a company from 1887. And the way they manage it and run this comp company, I guarantee it's uh, it's not a hold in my opinion. And if you compare it to the comp competition, its peers, uh, the way it's managed and structured and the capital... And what they're doing, doing doing with it, you can't beat it. So, that's what I'm saying. Now, if you'd like to get credit repair, funding for your corporation, or personal funding, on another note, please give me a call. It's Mark Anderson at Capital Cash. My phone number is 312-473-4163 or text me at 312-218-8737. Thanks a lot, and I hope this helps you out.